Today I got an Acer Aspire E15 laptop. I'm going to do a little fixing up on it, bring it up to date. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I got an Acer Aspire E15 laptop. It's about five, six years old. It's, um, it's in really good condition. Customer had it sitting around for about three years, never used it. She got it back out, decided she wants to start using it a lot. And she did some updates, did a couple feature updates on it because I was way behind on that. But nonetheless, we're going to beef it up a little bit. Nothing too fancy. Currently, it has 8 gigabytes of DDR4-2133 memory in it. Um, I'm going to double that to 16. Now, this processor is a 6th generation Core i5 6200U processor. And it will only support 2133 megahertz. So even if you put a faster speed of RAM in there, it'll still work, but it's just going to run at the lower speed of 2133 megahertz. So anyway, we're going to double the RAM to 16. It currently has an M.2 SATA SSD in it, and I'm going to beef that up a little bit with, with a Western Digital Blue SN550. Pretty affordable drive, but still it's going to be faster than the M.2 SATA because this is NVMe. Um, this is a Gen 3. It's a 500 gig, so we're going to double that storage capacity as well. In addition to that, I'm going to throw in, just for the heck of it, I always do when people do these kind of upgrades, I'm going to give her a one terabyte hard drive because there's a available empty bay in here and I have extra caddies in case one's not in there. So I'm going to, it's a standard Western Digital Blue OEM drive, one terabyte. But you could easily use a SATA SSD, two and a half inch drive in its place if you wanted to. But I'm just going to put this in for free and help her out. So that's what I'm going to do. Once I'm all done um, putting in the parts, I'm going to do a clean install of Windows 10. Not Windows 11. This computer, unfortunately, won't support Windows 11. Um, yes, you could make it work, but customer wanted Windows 10 anyway. I'm going to use my USB Windows 10 install, USB flash drive. I'll have a link down below where you can make one of these. You'll need an 8 gigabyte flash drive or larger to make one of these. Pretty simple. It's free. You can download Windows 10 right from Microsoft. And create the bootable flash drive so that's what we're going to use to install windows so without further ado i'm just going to go ahead and shut it off put the parts in and then we'll do the clean install and that'll that should be it should my lights go up here <clears throat> all right we're good to go let me get rid of mr power cord here now these are really easy to get access to so i like about these acers those three screws here in the bottom of this whole panel right here comes off Let's get rid of those. I don't know if there's a caddy in here or not, if they shipped it with it, but I have tons of these Acer caddies laying around. Do a lot of Acers, get a lot of them back here in my bone yard, so we save the caddies just in case. So that just snaps right off, just like that, guys. All right, yes, yeah, so and there's no caddy in here, but this is where it's gonna go. There's your SATA port. Here's our 8 gigs of DDR4, 2133. Here's our empty slot, and here's our M.2 SATA drive. So let's pop in the new RAM. Boom. Pretty straightforward. Make sure you get a good click in there. So now we're going to have 16 gigs of RAM, DDR4. Take this out. Now she has no data she cares about, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm just doing the clean install, install and get all the updates. Throw a couple browsers on it, but you can see by the M and B key there that plus it says SATA serial AT right here on the drive so we know that's not a, not an NVMe drive so this guy not being a super high performance drive it's going to be three times faster than what she had maybe four so we're going to plug that in being NVMe I know I've done these before they do support NVMe drives even though it's a sixth generation but it does work bonus bonus to Acer all right, so we got our new RAM in, our new drive. We're going to put this in, the caddy. And this only goes in one way. We're going to put it in. Boom, it's going to slide in just like that. So label down. <clears throat> I'm going to use a number zero Phillips screwdriver with a good magnetic tip on it to put my screws in. Always make sure you're protected against static electricity. I say that in all my videos, guys. Just... Don't want to be zapping anything. I'm, I'm all protected here. Got nice soft protected bench tops that are anti-static. Plus we have a treatment called static side that we spray them with occasionally. 
never ever had a problem ever but you don't want to be you know be careful in there you don't drop screws and stuff that wouldn't be good been there done that <laughs> see little sparks fly well it just broke your board so be careful about that so we got the drive mounted in there with the four mounting screws we're just gonna so I had it upside down this kind of just as a friction fit just got to pop it in this side over here first and just kind of gently push it down without breaking off your SATA port and then slide it in so we got our got our RAM, our NVMe, brand new 500 gig Western Digital Blue. Oop, put this guy back on. I'll put the screws in when I'm all done, just in case. Do the windows install with the power cord, just in case. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do a clean install of Windows 10. All right, guys, I'm going to take my USB drive. I'm going to plug it into my USB 3.0 port or a USB port. And we're going to turn it on. And I'm going to go into the BIOS real quick by tapping F2. Just want to see if boot menu is enabled. I just like to have that, these Acers. It's real simple to do once you get into the BIOS. Just go over here, tab over to main called F12 boot menu yes it's enabled don't really need it but it's nice to have just in case to save changes and exit and we'll just pop F12 here should be able to boot right from the flash drive probably would default to the flash drive anyway but there's our Kingston flash drive just hit enter and let it boot off the flash drive I'm putting the 21H2 edition of Windows 10 on it's the latest version Unfortunately, you couldn't run Windows 11 on this. This is a really clean computer. Like I said, it's been sitting around. It's got a backlit keyboard, full 1080 display. Nice little entry level. So in my case, I'm going to choose just the defaults, English, United States, and hit Next. Install now. Just want to make sure we install it to the 500 gig M.2 drive, not the one terabyte hard drive we put in there. Because that's the way we're doing it. Alright, we're going to accept the license terms. Next, I always choose custom. There's our two drives. Now the first one you can see is our one terabyte, the 931.5 gigabytes, but we want the 500 gig, the 465.8. So choose that to install Windows. Uh, hit next. So I'll speed this up in the video guys and I'll come back, kind of walk through the quick setup, get into Windows. I'll have to initialize that one terabyte hard drive that's in there and we'll be good. Alright guys, we're just about there. I'm gonna walk through the setup real quick for you. Hey Cortana, how the heck you doing? A little sign in here. All right, anyway, after it reboots the first time during the install, you can remove your flash drive. You don't need to leave it in there. I just want to get into Windows real quick. We'll initialize that one terabyte drive, make sure our RAM is all being read properly at 16 instead of 8. Utilize that second empty slot. But, you know, this would be good little, good little light gaming computer, general everyday use, productivity, that kind of stuff. It does have dedicated graphics nothing to write home about but you should be able to play some games so I'll just choose United States and US layout skip further layouts you can change all these settings later I always choose I'm not connected to the internet on Windows 10 you can just hit I don't have internet you're not missing anything you just won't be forced to set up a Microsoft account so I'm going to continue with limited setup that doesn't really mean anything except you just didn't answer all those questions. Let's put user in there for now. Okay. now no password. Always let the customer do that. Never ever do passwords. You can leave location on, but I, I just hit no on all this stuff. Privacy concerns, that kind of thing. You can change all this stuff later in settings, all of it. Not now, Cortana, sorry. 
All right, we'll let it get into one. It shouldn't take too long. The whole install is taking less than 10 minutes, probably about five, six, seven minutes. Not like back in the days with Windows 7 and uh, took forever to install. And before that, if you're old enough, Windows 98, Windows XP, and even older. Yeah, I know I'm old. But I'm wiser and I know what I'm doing. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, guys. I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to get 20,000 subs by the end of the year, but I'm not sure. I'm at about 18.4 right now. But if you can help me out on that, that'd be great. I got lots of videos on different cloning methods, um, installing different types of SSDs, NVMe SSDs, SATA SSDs. Go check out my channel. I got some playlists I set up as well. But I got lots of different videos on that kind of stuff. Just about there. All right, we're there. It's just going to search for a display driver. That's totally normal. We don't care about that right now. I'm not hooked to the internet. So I'm just going to go over here to my start button. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to disk management, find that one terabyte hard drive, get that set up real quick. There it is popping out right there. Disk zero, which is fine. It's right here unallocated. I'll just right click on it and hit new simple volume. And I'm not going to partition it. I always ask a customer about that. And they're like, no, nah, I explain to them why, pros and cons. And most of them say, no, that's all right. I'm like, okay. I'm just accepting the defaults. You can change the label here if you want. Let's put HDD. You can do that later just by right clicking on the drive. So we're going to do a quick format. Boom, now it pops right up. So we're good to go on that. We just go and let's open up File Explorer. Go to this PC. And there's our one terabyte HDD. Here's our new NVMe SSD right there, just the way we want it. And one last thing, I'll just open up Mr. Task Manager real quick. <coughs> go to more details. Click on my performance there. I know it's 1080. It's kind of hard to see, guys, but it's 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 there so there's our cpu our i5 6200 here's the memory we got 16 gigabytes at 2133 all right so we considerably beefed it up with the new nvme as opposed to the sata m.2 drive we doubled the memory uh, we had a terabyte of extra storage for her music and or photos so should you know get all the rest of the updates i'll button up underneath and we should be good to go I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. Help me out. Um, check out more of my videos. Y'all have a great day.